guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I am going to be trying out the Beauty Bay pastel eyeshadow palette which came out a few days ago I have a little bit of an obsession with pastel like I just like really really like colors and I just think they're so pretty so I saw this palette and I was like I have to have it like <laughs> I have never ever bought from Beauty Bay before but this was something I needed to get from there so the package came earlier today. So yeah, let's open it. This is one strong box. All the confirmation and it is wrapped in this. Okay. First impression, I love this outer layer. It is so pretty and it's really advertising the product well. But I will say, oh, it's got bubble wrap as well. That's pretty good. What I will say as well is it's smaller than I anticipated. That's what she said. <laughs> oh, gosh, it really is tiny. <laughs> that is a lot of packaging. Oh, my goodness. That is so pretty. That is absolutely gorgeous. I love it so much. I'm just sat here trying to figure out my favourite colour. So, yeah, this is the actual palette it's got eight colors as you can see i'm just trying to figure out if i want to try all the colors at once i am very keen to try out all these colors so i think one i am going to do pink and purple with orange underneath and then the other eye i'll do green and blue with yellow underneath just because i can try out all the colors at once because i honestly can't decide like i'm one of those people like i'm really indecisive about colors so i'm just gonna zoom you in okay so like i said in my little mixed makeup video do check that out the link's in the description but i love palettes which have a mirror is this too close up let's move you back a little bit because this is a bit creepy okay so this eye i'm gonna go for pink purple and orange and the other one's gonna be green blue and yellow i think i'm gonna get the dark purple and do it on the out bit of my eye okay right actually i think i will zoom you in a bit more i actually did see online that the colors aren't very bold because they're pastel so obviously they're already a little bit difficult to work with but you can see a little bit of something just slightly it is very pretty so i've applied that three times now and now i'm going to get the pink and apply it to my whole eyelid oh that's nice yeah i love that that is very nice pink. I'm just going to add a little bit more purple to the outer bit. That is gorgeous. And now for the outer bit, I'm going to use the other like pinky purple here that color is not standing out as much amongst these two colors like there's not really a clear difference with that color so that is the purpley pink bit done and now for under the eye i think i'm going to put orange on this one i'm going to be honest now i don't really wear eyeshadow under my eye so i'm a bit nervous about applying it that is very subtle it's really nice it's like it reminds me of a peach color i'm just going to try and make the colors a little bit more bold because it just looks like one color at the moment i am really not the best at applying makeup like I'm trying to learn how to do eyeshadow but yeah I'm just practicing really that is eye number one done I absolutely do love those colors I am really excited to go in with the blue and greens because blue and green is like my favorite two colors let's get on to 
Yeah, alright. I'm already quite nervous about how the yellow's going to show up. Okay, so like before, I'm going to go with the dark colour on the top. So I'm going to go in with this dark green. I love a bit of dark green. Oh, that is lovely. Oh wow, it's like, it reminds me of a mint green. And now for the base, I'm going to go in with this green. If that looks like mint green, I'm really intrigued to see how this is going to look. Oh, it barely shows up, okay. Oh, I'm struggling with this colour. This is really bringing out my green eyes. I'm not really sure how much the light green is standing out. Like on camera, it looks a lot better. I do still like it though. It looks better on camera. I much prefer the darker green to the lighter one. It's really stained my brush green now. That's nice. I'm going to go in with the blue now. I really like this shade of blue. And go for the outer bit here just to tie it all in. This blue is called Cloud Free. Oh my, I love it. I love that colour so much. The blue is definitely my favourite colour on this palette. I made a little bit of a mess of it though. I'm just going to try and put a little bit more light green over here. Okay, this has gone a bit everywhere. I made quite a bit of mess with that eye, but I will tidy it up with concealer in a little bit. I am going to try out the yellow underneath. The yellow is called First Light, which actually is quite a nice name. The yellow is actually a lot bolder than I expected it to be. That is one layer of yellow. I am very impressed with that. I really made a mess of this eye. I will, <laughs> what? I will come back to you when I've tidied it up a bit. I am back and as you can see I've put mascara on as well. Every time I do eyeshadow I have trouble blending this eye. I don't know what it is. This green has really brought out my eyes. I love it. The green's quite overpowering for the blue. So I am quite gutted that you can't really see that properly. Basically, I feel like this eye went good and then that eye didn't. But yeah, I have used every single colour in this palette. Overall, I think the purples are really, really nice. The orange is like a peach, a peachy colour. The pink, I don't really have that much of an opinion on because I can't really see it that well. The light green doesn't come out as well as I hoped. The dark green is quite a bold mint green. The blue is really pretty, but you can't really see it with the green. And the yellow is more powerful than I expected. So yeah, overall, I am actually quite happy with this palette. I think it is really, really pretty. Like, it is gorgeous. I am really, really happy with this purchase. Like, for £10, like, I think it is absolutely amazing. Like I said before, this is also my first time ever buying from Beauty Bay. So, yeah, I am really happy with my first ever purchase and I will definitely be looking at it again. Next time I use this palette, I will definitely give the blue more credit and maybe try the pink without the purple because as much as I like colours going together, I feel like the two greens overpower the blue and the two purples overpower the pink. Thank you for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And if you want to see like any other different looks from this palette or anything else that I may not have shown properly in this video, like the blue and the pink for example, like please do let me know because I feel like I didn't give the two colours much credit. That I could also, yeah. Thank you for watching. I'll see you all next time. Bye.